Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I apologize in advance, I'm a bit snotty today, thanks to Texas Allergy and Sinus. We're gonna keep on trucking, kinda like I'm doing right now by doing a third pour on this beautiful 16 inch round canvas. Wasn't too pleased with the last two pieces I did, so we're gonna go again. I am gonna be doing a starburst pattern today. I'm using a new white by Lucas. We're gonna test that out, see how we like it. Now, remember that when you blow out a starburst, you go from the inside to the outside. So I need to keep in mind what colors are gonna pass over each other. So I've decided to start out with a pearl red because I think when that kind of interferes with this Prussian blue, it's gonna give a really cool little smokiness to it. Then I'm gonna follow that up with a very thin layer of that white again. And I have mixed up my own color. It kind of reminds me of metallic salmon. It's a couple of different Arteza colors mixed together. It's gonna be so pretty with that Prussian blue, I think. And then let's do a tiny little bit of light rose. Also another Amsterdam color. Followed by, hands down, my favorite gold, Precious Gold by Pebio. This is a beautiful gold that stays in place and does not take over the painting. And oh God, oh hello, somebody brought burnt umber to the party. Um, not gonna tell you how I feel about browns, but let me see if I can save it with a little bit of this pearl red. Oh, maybe a lot of this pearl red. Maybe some of this Prussian blue. Got a little bit off, off, uh, off kilter there. And Quinacridone magenta, because who doesn't love saying Quinacridone magenta? Plus it's just a really pretty color. And that is gonna be just a tiny little layer of rouge. I am not sure who makes rouge. That was already mixed up by a friend. And here's another one of my kryptonites, light gray. If you know me, you know I'm not the biggest fan of anything resembling silver when it comes to art. Um, so we're pushing ourselves here. That's close enough that it reminds me of silver, so watch me struggle here. We're at the point where it really doesn't matter what I'm laying down. I'm so far on the edge of the canvas that most of this is just going to get blown off anyway. So I'm going to continue to just layer a little bit of white around the edge. Oh, hold on. Let me slap some gold in there because why not? Because it's gold, right? So after I've done this and I've filled out my edges, I'm gonna just very lightly torch those air bubbles that have risen to the surface. I'm gonna take my good little friend, Mr. In Style Mini Blue Hair Dryer, and I'm going to put that on my low heat setting. That dryer does not have a cool setting. I have never needed a cool setting. So that's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna blow from the inside out and I'm gonna let you guys watch the process and I'll be back with my, oh, hold on, greenish blue. I decided to add a little bit of that because it was staring me down, like, use me, use me, okay. Yes, girl, gonna use you. So here we go, I'll be back in just a little bit.
Okay, you guys, shut the front door. This burnt umber actually went from doo doo to woohoo pretty quick. I'm not mad about it. Um, I think that the brown of the, of the burnt umber mixing with that pearl red has created kind of a bronze color. Not mad about it. And these cells are really cool. Um, this has got to be some kind of reaction happening between the Amsterdam. Um, oh, we're going to pass by that real quick. Um, between Amsterdam and Lucas. Because I don't really see that happening anywhere else. But yeah, I did have some pulling of the white on the edge where I did put some white on the edge. So I think I just need to practice with that a little bit more and try to see if I'm getting some of these reactions specifically from that brand. But I don't mind it. Um, am I going to do this combination again really soon? Probably not, but I'm glad I tried it and got out of my comfort zone. Would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again next time, guys. Bye.